This stranded color pattern has only two colors in every row, so it's a great one to start with, very basic way to start learning about um, doing color work. I have my chart here to keep track. I like to use a little sticky. I put it above the row I'm about to do. Later you'll see that it means that you can see what you've already done, but not what you're about to do. Um, only the row you're about to do, not all the stuff you don't have to worry about. So. Let's look at this. I know I have one uh, rust, three blue, and then it repeats because these four stitches repeat. At the very end of the row, I add that one more stitch. So let's see how this works. Actually, I need to do one more row of pearl. Okay, so now I'm ready to start my color work. I have the rust colored yarn. On the first stitch of every row, I um, like to work the two uh, strands together because it really anchors it. You have to watch out on the way back that you don't think that those are two different stitches, but for me it makes it a lot easier. Some people tie that yarn in and some people just leave it hanging and that can be difficult, but I'm counting that as my first rust stitch. And I have three blue stitches. And you'll see I just dropped the rust and I picked up the blue. And we'll work three. One, two, three. You'll note that I'm knitting continental style, but it doesn't matter um, whether you're a picker or a thrower. These concepts are still right. And then I pick up the rust and work with it. And I have just one stitch in it and then it's back to drop that one and pick up the blue. Some people say to always pick up from underneath. Um, I actually don't believe in that in this case. I don't think they need to twist. Um, they can just lay across the back. It's fine. I don't think you need to worry about it. If you always twist, you actually can cause more trouble. So now I've knit three and I pick up the rust and I knit the one rust. Now, let's go back to the chart, move my sticky, I move it one up, and I can see that this wrong side row is actually true for the whole chart. The wrong side row is exactly the same as the row below it. So if I saw a, a rust one, I'm going to work with rust again. If I see a blue one, I'm going to work with blue again. So I'm getting this out of your way for clarity. So now, at the beginning of the row, Remember how I said I like to work them together? I like to do that here too, because if I just worked this rust one and left this blue, um, if I just worked it, here I'll kind of show you what could happen. The rust and then work the blue, they're not going to be attached and there's going to be like a hole. <laughs> so I want the blue to come all the way to the end. Either I twist it or I work them together. That's a little split, okay work them together counts as the rest and now I do three blues drop that yarn use the rest for one drop the yarn now you'll notice there's something else I'm doing I probably do this kind of automatically and that's making these sort of spread out on my right hand needle here. Um, if they're all bunched up, then this will be very tight and we don't want it to be tight. We want it to lay perfectly across the back. It's better, too loose is better than too tight. Of course we want it perfect, but come on. Um, so three blue. The last one. is rust. Look, I'm even knitting with my other hand. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's go back to the chart. Move it up one row. Okay, so I can see that now um, I no longer need this teal. Let's cut it off and leave it like five, six inches. And I'm going to be working with rust and green. So, it's two rust, one green, 
three rust, one green, three rust, one green, and the very end there, two rust. So. Okay, now that I have cut the blue off, I'm going to lay it over the top of the rust there, kind of hold it in place, and I'm ready to join my green, bring my green in, hold it together with the rust, and knit the first stitch. So that's kind of hoping, holding everything in place. The green I just brought in, the blue that I put over the rust there, and now, what was it my chart was? <laughs> Two rust, one green, three rust, one green. So that was that counts as one rust. Two rust. Drop it, be ready for a green. Three rust. One. Two. Three. Drop it and go to green. I'm doing this the simplest way possible. There is a way to knit it with two hands. This way I, um, those who don't know how to knit with two hands, this is the simple way. One green, drop it, go to the rust, and finish the row in rust. So um, that gives you all the basics of the um, Fair Isle or stranded knitting. Not all stranded knitting is Fair Isle, but we have a tendency to call it that. I've been working with Broco Peruvia Quick, which is a, a nice big quick um, knitting yarn. And you have all the tools you need to make the Vic cardigan that we have on the Broco website. Happy knitting! Mm -hmm.